listen, I criticize the left a lot because I understand the left. And I understand the problems with the left. I can critique the right. And I can point out the problems with the right, but I have no solutions for those except for you need to stop, you know, sucking Trump's. The real thing is, is Xander Hall got his feelings hurt because he had been defending Shu for a long time. And when this went down, he had so much pressure from his audience to say that she was a right wing LGBT hating, you know, anti trans, uh, thinks that all trans people are pedophiles person, right? And he had so much pressure from his audience that he couldn't not shit on her. And then when she retaliated uh, to him shitting on her unprompted, well, now she's the bad guy. Listen. I criticize the left a lot because I understand the left. And I understand the problems with the left. I can critique the right. And I can point out the problems with the right, but I have no solutions for those except for you need to stop, you know, sucking Trump's. Okay. I want to see some of the, uh, a little bird told me that Xander Hall's editor is pleading with him to stop. Please stop. I, I've seen some of the, the fighting between President Sunday uh, and Xander Hall. Um, because President Sunday never saw Shu. You know what we should do? We should go to the Shu on head. Shu on head. We should look at the Barbie Sound of Freedom Balenciaga. Now, does she say anything about them? Okay, so let's watch a little bit of this just to get the backstory. Is that this is a huge f up from a billion dollar company. And when a billion dollar company f up, who better to come to their defense than the progressive left? Can we stop pretending Shu is an ally yet? Shu on head belongs in a prison cell for hate speech. Shu herself is basically a terrorist enabler at this point. You are a Nazi. Shu is literally just a Nazi. Yeah, um, Shu is a Nazi. Shu on head is a fascist and a danger to our community. This is your daily reminder that Shu on head is a Nazi. I'm sick of Shu on head. She needs to go. No more. I think that if a button to deplatform her existed, we should push it this instant. Do you think Jesus reporting Christ. her vids would do anything? Hate speech and all? How about we mass report her Twitter. Fuck Shu. This crosses a line. Shu is a cum dump enabler for fascist- The- the- the problem with- The problem with the left is that there are people that like agree with them on some things, all right? But they're not going to agree with them on all things because there's just too much- there's too much there for people to- to be as pure as everyone on the left expects everyone to be, right? No one is as pure as everyone on the left expects everyone else to be. Um, and so the inevitable consequence of that is what? They're all going to, they're all going to cancel each other. They're all going to ruin each other's lives. They're all going to burn each other, uh, burn bridges with each other, et cetera, et cetera, until there is no one left except for them at the top of the totem pole, right? Yes, only Wick is pure. And, um, well, actually, Wick, according to uh, some people that I've seen on your stream, you're actually a fascist enabler and you hate trans people because you don't invite um, uh, the nine tails fox person uh, to, to be on your show. So, uh, yeah, you actually hate trans people. So you're not that pure. You're not so pure yourself there, buddy. Uh, um, but uh, anyways... The Shu on head agrees with them on most of like the progressive value stuff, right? Uh, she doesn't like war. She doesn't like it uh, when poor people aren't, uh, aren't able to afford health care. You know, like all of like the big domestic issues. Uh, where did I just drop my thing? There it is. She, she broadly agrees with them on most like domestic policy stuff. But she obviously has some sort of hang up with, uh, with you know, being a pedo hunter. Why, why did this guy just walk away from me? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you. I don't need a cutscene. Thank you very much. So yeah, they're just going to continually 
purity test and cancel each other and burn bridges over f- people being friends with other people or not being friends with someone or for disliking someone or for platforming the wrong person or for, uh, you know, X, Y, Z reason. They're always going to find something that they can, you know, just completely burn the bridge with you over. And um, that's like the the big problem with the left. They're never going to be able to build a coalition. They're never going to be able to uh, build any kind of mass movement that they talk about having all the time, right? Um, all this collective action uh, that they say that they want to do has never materialized. Uh, I think that even Vosh, like Vosh saying this of all people, highly ironic, but um, Vosh said that collective action is the thoughts and prayers of the left. And it's like, damn, you know? Like, can you be any more, can you, can you be any more based and true on, on the subject when you're, uh, when you're just speaking about it and not engaging in that, uh, type of behavior? You know, she was a 40 year old emo girl. Okay. She's like, she's like 30 something. All right. And she was our queen. She is too hot to criticize. Okay. I'm a Nazi bimbo hag. She's fundamentally the enemy and should always be treated as such. People like Shu and Matt Walsh are the types of people I believe committing acts of violence against is morally justified. And again, like I've said this multiple times over the past couple of weeks, but like if you're going to, if you cut someone out of your life, you are seeding all, you know, all future engagements that that person might have, right? Um, you're seeding all. Uh, pull that your voice might have in their opinions on something right if if you think that they're like oh they're a good person but they have like a bad opinion on this like why would you cede the ground for that person who is a good person to be you know lied to or uh mis misled into like a bad position it makes me feel like you actually don't care as much about that person as you say you do right you're not as offended as you claim to be, it just hurts your public image too much to associate with them. Now, I just need to make this clear that this is in no way a representation of the entire left online. Most of the people who follow me are left-wing and they agreed that, yeah, this photo shoot was really weird. The people who are mad about this are from a pretty small bubble, but nevertheless, lo and behold, I was apparently cancelled. Now I use the term cancelled sort of sarcastically because I really wasn't cancelled. It's kind of impossible to cancel me in general because I have four different fan bases and they all hate each other and me. And a lot of you guys watching this probably didn't even know all of this happened, but it was just very weird and I need to talk about this. Sean had on her way to once again use her massive platform to provide the neo-Nazis and her audience with fodder they can use to justify the murder of gay people, but this time the day after another anti-gay terror attack. I'm sorry. Where are the gays? My post had absolutely nothing to do with LGBT people. The Balenciaga thing in general had nothing to do with LGBT people. Where did this come from? This guy took a random response to my tweet and implied I was responsible for someone else's opinion and therefore fueling hate crimes against gay people. I'm just confused how Balenciaga posting an ad of kids holding stuffed animals in fetish gear turned into LGBT groomer discourse. Did I miss something? Look at the quote tweets and replies to her tweet thread from her followers. I have half a million followers on Twitter. I have over a million subscribers on YouTube. I am not the re- wrangler. There were a few people, not that many, who took my tweet and ran with their own narrative of it. I cannot control the opinions of other people. And a lot of these people aren't even in my audience. They're just random f-ing people on Twitter who found my tweet because it went viral. That is how a public forum works. If someone is egregiously being homophobic or harassing people in my replies, I'll just block them. There's nothing else I can do. What do you want me to do about the opinions of other people? Why don't- The mom was defending the weird pictures? Yeah, well, that's the thing. Um, another, another problem that the left has Right. And I and for people. uh, All right. Listen, I criticize the left a lot because I understand the left. I understand the problems with the left. I can critique the right. I can point out the problems with the right. But I have no solutions for those except for you need to stop, you know, sucking Trump's. Right. But like the left, honestly. If they were better 
at not, you know, canceling people or cutting people out or uh, better about messaging, they they unironically could probably in the next hundred years like achieve some sort of socialist revolution. The message is pretty po powerful, right? And when given in the right way, you can really, 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 uh, you, you can really make it seem very appealing. But they also fall into like the ultimate hedonism like view of the world where just, you know, just like, uh, so what if someone wants to like dress up their kid in kink gear with a, uh, you know, with a teddy bear, right? What, what right does that give you to, to judge them, right? They're not their kid, you know, like you're not, you're not helping, you're not helping your case when you're attaching your entire identity to your political project, right? You're, you're, Views on sex and gender and sexual relations and relationships all come down to your ideology. And now you're trying to tie in like it's okay for children to be dressed in, in fetish gear and looking at, 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 at best looking uncomfortable or completely dead inside while doing a photo shoot for like billionaires you know, fashion designer brands. Like, there, there's, there's no way that you can come out on top with that to the general population, right? Why don't you focus on what I said and did? Is it because I said and did nothing wrong? I mean this with the most respect possible. Posting this a day after a homophobic terror attack that happened because the trans drag groomer scare comes off in very bad taste. I think choosing to bring this to light right after the shooting is phenomenally poor taste. She went ahead throwing queers under the bus right after a mass shooting to cater to her homophobic audience. There was a mass shooting in a gay club in Colorado a few days before this Balenciaga thing broke. And because there was a shooting at a gay nightclub, I can't talk about pedophilia? What? To shitpost the LGBT community on f***ing Trans Day of Remembrance is so disrespectful, I don't even know what to say. Same vibe as criticizing veterans on Veterans Day. Let me get this straight. Criticizing a fashion brand for pedobating on Trans Day of Remembrance is the same as criticizing veterans on Veterans Day? Bro, you don't even need the far right at this point. You're doing their job for them. What the f***? Even if I saw it from their perspective, like even if I removed my brain and replaced it with a little toy monkey okay, with symbols the or whatever they- Ah oh, yes, the conspiracy. The conspiracy that the fashion industry is f***ed up and weird. The conspiracy that the powerful elites are abusing children. That conspiracy. The worst part is she pretends to be gay so she can yell homophobe when you call her out. I'm convinced Shu has no real political opinions and just says slash believes whatever sounds good to her. Isn't, isn't that what an opinion is? Begging people to finally realize Shu is literally just right wing. Shu is a conservative no matter how many lefties try to say otherwise. There's a term coined by Lindsay Ellis that I think fits Shu. She's a diet Nazi. Shu on head is a right wing propagandist. She is likely paid to be so either directly or indirectly. I hate Shu. She's not a leftist. She's a fascist who wants health care. Does this look like a fascist to you? She needs to be kicked out of the left like yesterday. She is a fascist. If you are denying it at this point, you are just a simp. She one had as a right-wing paid propagandist infiltrating simp, leftist spaces. She's a calculated and insincere plant, and she needs to be excommunicated. We need to boot Shu from the left. She isn't a leftist. At this point, we just have to not let Shu exist on the left anymore. Inevitably, she is going to leave the left, and it will not be surprising. So first of all, if I was going to leave the left over left-wing people being mean to me, I would have left the left like eight f***ing years ago. I know it's hard for these people to understand because their extent of politics is quite literally Discord servers and Reddit communities. You cannot be kicked out of opinions. Like, I can call myself a right-winger right now, but I would be the shittiest right-winger ever, probably on account of the whole, I don't know, socialism thing? The whole being a socialist might get in the way. But more importantly, I don't know what about me calling shit like this out makes me not left-wing. It genuinely feels like some massive psyop. Like, I want workers' rights and for people to have their basic necessities met, I didn't sign up for this weird ass shit. I'm just so tired of like trying to prove to uh, these people that I'm- part. Like I made my Prostasia video about a year this ago. This is remember? the part where she talks about other content creators. Prostasia video where I exposed some child protection organization. What if I posted that video today? Would I be bombarded with these same people and called a Nazi and a reactionary and whatever? Because the only people that were doing that last year was the organization itself. The organization was calling me alt-right for exposing them. That's you. That's you right now. It's a pattern from Shu that she had for years. Even though she didn't say gay groomer out loud, it can be seen as a dog whistle. Shu may not have said anything about LGBTQ plus people out loud, but we can hear the dog whistle from miles away. Shu knows exactly what she's doing. 31 year old knows exactly what she's doing. That's the thing. She did not mention gay and trans people. We know that she is thinking it, and so does her audience. It's called a dog whistle. She hides behind technically it's not saying anything projection. explicit. Stop falling for her dog whistling tactic. Just because she didn't say gay doesn't mean that it's not what she's implying. The sheer amount of people who still don't know that Shu on head is a dog whistle. Her name is a dog whistle. It always 
always was. What? It's so funny to me that you can literally breathe and these people will find a way to make it a dog whistle, but a child could be holding a teddy bear in bondage gear in a fashion ad, and they call you a crazy conspiracy theorist for pointing it out. And they love to do this gaslighting shit, right? They try to make you feel crazy for thinking something like most normal people would think is weird is weird. Literal soup brain. Leather isn't innately related to BDSM. What's wrong with a child seeing BDSM gear? The child does not know it's sexual. What harm comes from this? Who gives a shit, dude? It's a kid holding a teddy bear. How traumatizing. People love to misunderstand fashion. It's so tiring. <laughs> It's not pedophilia, it's fashion, mom. Look it up. Is putting a leather harness on a dog BDSM too? This child is not being mutilated. It is just holding a bear that happens to have a leather strap on it. Petco.com. Oh no, they're selling pedophile wear. I'm sorry, you can't fool a degenerate. That is a BDSM harness. Maybe Shoe on Head sees a piece of leather next to a child and starts getting a little, you know, riled up. Maybe it's a little bit of projection on Shoe on Head's part. Oh, you think this looks weird? Well, you must be a pedophile yourself. Wow, got him. This shit went viral on like normie Twitter and Facebook and TikTok. There were like Zoomer girls on TikTok like, oh my God, this shit crazy, for real, for real, this shit not bussin'. And you're over here pretending it's perfectly fine and not weird and only Nazis and pedophiles would have a problem with this. Okay, just reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. Balenciaga better be paying you people good because if they're not, that's even more pathetic. They should at least throw you like one of those $3,000 high-heeled Crocs or whatever the f Like the brand itself even admitted it was weird, yet you're over here running defense for them for free. Even more annoying than the gaslighting has to be the whataboutism. I see whataboutism all the time when I make content. When I talk about police brutality, what about violence against police officers? When I talk about men being cringe, what about women being cringe? When I talk about women being cringe, what about men being cringe? You can always tell when someone Trying doesn't really have a point where they are low key defending the Zan. thing they're talking about when they do this what about, what about, what about, what about shit. And every time you wanna talk about weirdo shit involving children, there's like 12 that crawl out of a rock like, notice how they never talk about child beauty contests. All this political theater from you, yet not one mention of banning child beauty pageants. All this outrage, but nothing about child beauty pageants. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're talking about this bad thing? What about this other bad thing? What is this, the all lives matter of f***ing pedophilia? Multiple things can be bad at once. But it's not 2005. We're not middle-aged mothers from the South. Nobody is out here defending child Xander beauty Hall's pageants. Xander tweets so don't even make a, about an BDSM appearance in this, do they? She's a hypocrite. I could be wearing a full BDSM harness right now. I could be wearing a full gimp suit. But it would not matter because my content is not made for children. I am an adult who makes content. Like, really quick. We're about to watch Xan burn a bridge with someone over this. And I don't see any of his tweets at all, anywhere. Did I, did I just miss it? Hold on. Here, hold on. Let's do it like this. These same people and called a Nazi and a reactionary and whatever, because the only people that were doing that last year was the organization itself. The organization was calling me alt-right for exposing them. That's you. That's you right now. It's a pattern from Shu that she had for years. Even though she didn't say gay groomer out loud, it can be seen as a dog whistle. Shu may not have said anything about LGBTQ plus people out loud, but we can hear the dog whistle from miles away. Shu knows exactly what she's doing. 31 year old knows exactly what she's doing. That's the thing. She did not mention gay and trans people. We know that she is thinking it, and so does her audience. It's called a dog whistle. She hides behind technically not saying anything explicit. Stop falling for her dog whistling tactic. Just because she didn't say gay doesn't mean that it's not what she's implying. The sheer amount of people who still don't know that Shu on head is a dog whistle. Her name is a dog whistle. It always was. It's so funny to me that you can literally breathe and these people will find a way to make it a dog whistle, but a child could- So, so she doesn't actually, like, say that Xander Hall is a, <laughs> is a sex pest or anything like that. Got it. Now let's see him burn his bridge with, uh, with Keffels over that for some reason, I guess. I guess that's why he decided to burn the bridge. Do this? I didn't want to fight. I have been nothing but a good friend to him. I have... I was willing to raise money for him for a legal defense when he was going through all of the stuff with Sasha. And he decided to burn the bridge with me because I associated with Shu on it. Okay, you know what? Actually, yes, I will talk with you if Tipster is available to mediate the conversation. I will have both of you on screen. I'm not doing a one-on-one. -on -one. This is something else, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't know how to approach That it. thing kept on getting repeated, but the only time I ever see the, oh, the take that- Oh, um, is involved. Like, Xander always getting pedo jacketed is like some tweets that don't really show it happening. So yeah, I just got really confused by that. Um, and I maybe did see some pedo jack pedo accusations or like, just like shit posty pedo accusations going through in the other way. So. Hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> Jesus. It's whispers I didn't and explosions. This. I didn't want to fight. I have been nothing but a good friend to him. I have... I was willing to raise money for him. We're going to skip forward. What, what do you want from me? This is... You are shadow boxing right now.
I never real, said any of these things. I'll elaborate on stream to have a good stream. I I don't care. Based. Oh, who are you? Can you come I don't on care. Voice? Let me ask Chad if that's if that's the greatest idea. I don't even know anymore. Like he's calling me a snake. He's bringing up drug use. It's it's gross. It's weird. Okay, you know what? Actually, yes, I will talk with you if Tipster is available to mediate the conversation. I will have both of you on stream. I'm not doing a one-on-one. -on -one. You think this should be done off stream? I feel like at this point, there's no reason to do this in private. Xander Hall addressed me. Look, look, we'll go over this because Xander Hall's framing this like Xander Hall didn't start this but xander hall did start this like xander hall addressed me on stream first i'm responding to xander hall and what he said on stream xander Zan, Zan didn't have to do any of this all right let's watch the clip i can't tell if the beard makes xan look more or less scuffed i i, I genuinely can't i can't decide whether he looks better or worse more it, it, it's i i think it's it's just a different kind of scuffed you know one of the worst images that's ever disgraced my eyes that's come out of this space is the soy jack um the soy jack of zan where he looks like a like a the, the remains of a third degree burned baby like screaming into the into the camera it's one of the worst images i've ever seen in my entire life you both have the same facial hair we very much do not he has a much thicker be or mustache and then he has nothing right here for some reason okay it's exactly the same i i sent i sent it to keffels so maybe she knows what i'm talking about Let's hold on watch. i i need to address a youtube chatter right now Genuinely sad to see another leftist community defend Shu. She's going to call Keppels a pedo the second she just... Shu defended me quite a bit while I was struggling before I went to rehab, okay? Stop stop rejecting your parasocial weirdo shit onto me. The people that um, are in this circle are scum. But here's also the thing. If Shu says something stupid, I will call her out on it. I will disagree with her. I don't think that just because I think this that doesn't matter at all to me when she's literally pedo jacketed me. Did you did you call her out? This chatter wasn't. I was responding to. You a... just have a lighter color, okay? I mean, like I have actual. Keep him up. Get him up there. I have like actual. I can't look at the, like look, right here. There's actually hair right here. It actually connects with my mustache and my beard, but his doesn't. But he has a much thicker mustache, which is something that I'm somewhat grateful I don't have because goddamn the 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 pedo stash, dude, the pedo stash needs to go away. Everyone's ever all these kids are using the pedo stash nowadays. It's so gross. Anyways. Keep him up. Get him up there. Could you please keep your hand up if you would be comfortable if a 13-year-old were to come onto Twitch and do an Amaranth bikini hot tub stream? No. But I can't. Uh, okay, like, so like that—that's the issue. So I guess Demon Mom would be okay with literal children coming onto the platform and like riding around and like I don't bananas know or enough bikinis about and everything to say but, that um, particular content. Creator. Then I why feel did like you have your hand up? Then why did you have your hand up, <sighs> bro? It's that was that's such that's probably one of the worst clips of her. To a chatter, I wasn't responding. This had nothing to do with Xander Hall. This had nothing to do with Demon Mama publicly when she pedo jacketed me in demon mama because i don't remember that even vaguely someone has good positions on some things doesn't mean they can't have bad positions on other things in virtually any circumstance yeah but she was just a straight up bad person so yeah she grills people in chat who are directly referencing shoes tendency and defends her friendship with yeah zan just inserted himself in this like, I was addressing a random chatter talking about people who make really weird speculations about people that they don't actually know. I think I like Xander Hall is in his right to feel heard, and he's in his right to say that she was a bad person. I'm not taking that away from him. I'm not telling him he's not allowed to believe certain things. 
but he's setting up a situation where I have to I have to either completely dissociate from Shu or I can't be his friend. But I can tell you right now that if I talk shit about Shu on my stream, she isn't going to immediately jump into my chat to start shit talking me or jump into public callouts. Shu, so I mean, there's not really much I can say to that. I'm not willing to look past that at all. Like, I'm sorry. It's not it's not an ultimatum thing. I don't like giving Here's the thing. It, I may look like an asshole for immediately being like bridge burnt, but here's the thing. What's more asshole? Finding out that someone you're friends with is friends with somebody who's like a, been a massive piece of shit to you or giving them that dreaded ultimatum. Yeah. You you you, you created the ultimatum and then you enacted the ultimatum without consulting the other person first and then you went to twitter and you shit talked her without consulting her first it's actually worse than giving the ultimatum ultimatums are like generally shitty depending on the context but like dude this is uh you're you're like absolutely in the wrong here you saw something that you interpreted a certain way you then blew up on that person in a public space and then you're calling the other person the bad person I, i'm trying to think like is there anyone in this space that like i would be offended if they were friends with someone that wronged me like i would say that i'm friends or at least like highly friendly with wick right he has he has friendly relationships with people that I hate, like uh uh what's her name um Viv or uh, maybe not Katie anymore. I don't remember what happened with Katie, but like not Katie. Um, uh, if the if the one dude the uh endless cemetery guy was friends with Wick, I don't think that I would be like nah man I can't be Wick's friend anymore. I hate Andrew, but I'm chill with you. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> lots of people are chill with me, even though I would say that I, I'm at least, I haven't really like been like close with Andrew. Um, like we don't like DM back and forth as much as we used to, but like I'm still friendly with the guy. I still like him as a human being. I think that he's a retard and some of his uh, beliefs are a little scumbaggy, right? But like, I wouldn't be upset if someone's friends with him. I cannot think of a single person who I would be like, you know what, if you're friends with this person, I just cannot be friends with you. You know? You don't get to decide who your friends associate with. I mean, you get to decide whether you associate with them, but like, I think that if it's like an acquaintance, right? If it's like an acquaintance and you like don't feel like, uh, well, I don't really know them that well to give them the benefit of the doubt, um, they haven't really done anything like to show me that they are they would be on my side if some like crazy shit went down and they're friends with this person that like lied about me so like maybe it's just not for the it, maybe it's just for the best that I don't interact with them that's one thing but like if she's like built up go fund me's for the guy you know that's that's a pretty crazy thing to burn the bridge over without contacting them first loner box likes destiny Dylan Burns likes Destiny. There's like there's a lot of streamers I associate with who like someone who wrote a manifesto about me and absolutely got me harassed on the internet. That's true. I buried the hatchet. I literally apologized to Destiny in order to put everything behind me because I want to live in the present. I don't want to constantly dwell on the past and dwell on how I was hurt by other people, you know? At a certain point, you just gotta live your life. Pebilaji, thank you for the fifty dollars super chat. Jan, uh, Zan struck first, and she responded. She even censored his name in the video. Why is he allowed to make several vids about her, but she can't respond back? What was the pedo jacketing? No one's. I mean, yeah, I can't actually find the pedo jacketing. Present Sunday can't find the. I, I the like I've looked for it. I'm like actually confused what that is about, and I'm not even saying that Zan is a liar. 
it very well could happen. But I reached out to Zan's editor. I reached out to Shu herself. I was like, where is this pe the pedo jacketing situation? And neither of them could tell me. And that's why I got confused. Like if she legitimately did something that vile, I'd be like, yes, that was up. That's wrong. But this is what actually happened. They had a perception that she was shit talking the LGBT community. And because they had that perception, they started attacking her. And because they started attacking her on something that she didn't think that she was doing, right? Saying that all LGBT people are groomers or playing into that, uh, you know, into that narrative. She was like, I'm not doing that. You guys are defending like actual grooming behavior. This is crazy. Well, to them, that's literally calling them pedophiles. And so through like two or three layers of explanation, you get to this quote unquote direct calling them pedophiles and pedo jacketing them. But again, you have to go through like two or three layers of explanation instead of just saying, oh yeah, look, she, she pedo jacketed me. But you also have to assume that that was the implication when what what the what the real thing is is Xander Hall got his feelings hurt because he had been defending Shu for a long time, and when this went down, he had so much pressure from his audience to say that she was a right wing LGBT hating you know anti trans uh, thinks that all trans people are pedophiles person right, and he had so much pressure from his audience that he couldn't not shit on her. And then when she retaliated uh, to him shitting on her unprompted, well, now she's the bad guy. That's literally, yes. It's like Darvo, right? What is it? Uh, deflect, attack, revol uh, reverse um, victim and attack. Uh, uh, victim in what? Whatever the last word is. Darvo. I also don't know why I have to answer for her when I wasn't defending her. Her audience definitely harassed him. Absolutely. However, that entire drama went way outside of her circle. Like, that went really mainstream. That was not just Shu's audience. There were millions of people engaged in that discourse cycle. I hate being the guy who gives somebody an ultimatum like i can't be friends with you unless you do this so i'm not going to do okay but even okay okay but even if she did start this why do i have to answer for her Good i question. defended her in a drama with thought slime and even in the thought slime video i was defending xander hall because Thought Slime made up accusations as Xander Hall was running a of sex Of course, Gay Fesh is there. Running defense for Demon Mama. Do that. I'm just going to burn the bridge immediately, right? Like, I imagine many of you in chat might be able to relate. Like, say, for example, you're trans, and you've got a best friend who's dating a guy who's very transphobic, right? And your friend is like, oh, he's okay. He respect. I know he doesn't, he'll misgender you, and he doesn't respect your pronouns, but... You know, he, he's, he's a really good guy. I really like him, you know? D try, try to accept him. D that, that's basically the kind of vibe, the kind of situation I find myself in often, <gasps> like, in the place no of, like, that hypothetical Bye, trans way. person. Holy shit. Who's like, why is my friend defending their relationship? I'm not, I'm not dating Shu. That's so I don't know ridiculous well I, I don't understand the hypothetical this is something else isn't it so yeah i don't know how to approach this like i don't understand i feel like i'm being blamed for things that i didn't do yeah i mean the the way i interpreted it because i was watching zan stream live to me it looked like some chatter just showed up trying to cause drama and they conflated something you said to a chatter to being about him and Demon Mama. And I mean, he watched the clip, but he didn't watch the whole clip. And I, I think he took what the chatter said at face value, which just caused a huge misunderstanding that I feel like if you two talked it out, it could get resolved. 
I really don't think it I needs think to be this way. Resolved. I think that if you two got together and talked it out, that it could be sorted out. Because it was literally just a dis. One second, let me. We'll listen to this. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna look at a honest TLS. chatter showing up in your chat, trying to cause conflict. They were drama frogging, and um, now here we are. Yeah, but it's weird because he actually opens up the chat. You know, he, he watches the video and then he starts ascribing meaning to a random chatter that I never said that. I never Pelicans called him a scumfuck. Beat that's here. weird. Yeah, it's, that's why I'm saying, like, you know, I, I don't want to assume Xander Hall's being bad faith here. I personally really like Xan and I just think it's a big misunderstanding. And like. I don't know. I hope you two can talk it out and get it sorted out. If not today, then eventually. Because, like, this is clearly a case of a chatter trying to start shit between two streamers. And uh, they got what they wanted, uh, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm willing to. Like, if you're willing to mediate the conversation, but I don't think I'll want to... No, I'm sorry. Keffels is a, a, Keffels is a uh, better friend than I. If someone did this shit to me, I wouldn't be sitting there, like, patiently listening to them with a moderator in the call no f shot no f way someone wants to like explode on me because i associate with someone that they don't like like i'm sorry like yeah we can talk on stream we can argue but i'm not gonna f sit here and try and repair a friendship after you like come out and like blow me up on twitter talk about my f you know uh like in this case he talked about her being too fried on heroin to understand the conversation that they had before about this situation so like if you're going to bring up something as like up as you know the the former uh uh drug problems that the person has right like if they did something similar to me yeah at that point i probably i just want to fight I fucking sit there and be friends and friendly and try and repair a bridge with someone that's willing to immediately just go thermo nuclear on me yeah that shit one on one situation would resolve in anything but more uh anger like i feel like yeah. if we did a one-on-one -on -one, um zan wouldn't listen to me i would lose my temper i would get heated zan would get heated and then it would escalate and then more streamers would get involved and it would just be like an entire mess yeah, I mean, I'm here. That's what I'm here for. If you guys want to talk, uh, I'm happy to mediate it. I'll I'll say stupid. I'll stay super neutral. Um, but yeah, I just I I really do believe that this could be sorted out. Yeah. I think at the very least, it's worth trying. All right. I mean, I'll send Zan. Right. I am going to use the one revive. Okay. On. Okay. Wingle. I've sent Zan. Hello. Hi. Hi. Playing a little bit of Lego Fortnite. I hope everyone's having a good day. Lego Fortnite? Um, Howdy, Zan. Hey, Tipster. I hope you're having a good one. I hope you're having a good one as well, Clara. Um, I'm, I know that we're, we're having a bit of a contentious conversation, but I, I don't wish ill on anybody. Um, yeah, I, I really truly feel like this is a big misunderstanding, and if you two got the opportunity to talk, that it could be sorted out. Because I hate to see... You know, two people who've been super supportive of each other at this up to this point, like what the f did? Is that me? Wait, a, hold on oh, a second. Um, okay, I just have to. <laughs> did he finally die for being fat? Yeah, Leave him alone. I don't know anything oh, do about I, the do I sound guy. Right? Okay, yeah, there we go. I Except that he's like a huge punching bag oh, cool, for cool. people. Yeah, I, I reached out a few nights ago after I had my bridge burning segment on stream to talk in private because a chatter had informed me. And I, I meant I saw you mention this in a way that I, I don't necessarily agree with your framing of it. But uh, I had been told by a chatter that when we'd originally discussed this back in, I don't know, April, I think it might have been. I'm not very good at remembering how long ago things were these days. Uh, COVID kind of up your brain. Anyway, um, we talked it. about this, and I, I was told by a chatter that when we did, this was prior to you going to rehab, and that you were high on that stream, and I was like, oh, oh, okay, maybe, maybe she didn't really remember, and maybe I didn't really explain to myself as well, because it was so impromptu, and I felt bad about posting my tweet after that, and that's why I reached out after stream, like, can we talk about this in private? Um, I'm willing to work. Some friend. Oh, well, you know, like, there's this, like, thing that happened, and maybe it kind of, like, leaves uh, some area, like, some room for, um, 
maybe it leaves some room for uh, interpretation as to their mind, uh, mind state, you know? Like, maybe that's what we're looking at here. No. I'm not going to think about that until after... <laughs> I'm not going to think about that until after I've already blown this bitch up on Twitter. Let's go. Work it out, but I didn't get responded to, and I saw you make this stream, and I was like, what? And then you didn't respond Sam, to me. You, I, I thought she didn't want to make it a big deal. Before you were deal. willing to even have a private conversation, you were addressing this on stream, and you were made it into a public call-out post like three minutes after I first responded to you in a Discord DM. I understand where you're coming from there, but like I said, when I first got this message to me on stream, I was told, I guess I can break it down from like step by step. I received a message from one of my chatters that said, Hey Zan, in Keffel's new video on Thought Slime and Shoe on Head, she says that people criticizing Shoe for calling for pedo jacketing those that disagree with her are terminally online. Here, I, I, I may be able to find no, it. I, I, I think you can probably I read know it in the, the DMs. Clip, but... I didn't mm -hmm. say your name in that clip. I didn't say Demon Mama's name. I was responding yeah. to a chatter who was making parasocial characterize. This would be you in the Keffel's position at one minute and five Surrender. seconds. Surrender, Charlie. Daddy. Bro, where do you, where do you, where do you get these these comparisons? Where do you, where do you, when you decide to send me something like this, where is this, where is the thought process behind it, my guy? about people and what their potential actions could be it had nothing to I understand do with that. but that yeah, just to step in for a second referring to what she did to me and demon mama though yeah and, and just to step in for a second uh i i saw the message the chatter said they did specifically name you xander hall and demon mama so oh. i felt like it was an unfair characterization by the chatter to suggest that Keffels was specifically talking about you and Demon Mama, when in reality she was referring to that specific chatter in her chat. Sure, I understand that, but that chatter was criticizing Keffels platforming in defense of Shu, so, a thing that I also take issue with. That even chatter upon did the mention knowledge of what Xander Hall. I, if you look back in the I, video, the Zan I that chatter Tipster doesn't. Just, I thought Tipster just said they did mention me. Well, right before... Um, like right before you and Tipster popped on, I played the clip over again, and neither of you get mentioned in it. Okay, well, my understanding was that in that clip, that chatter is referring to what Shuan Head did to me and Demon Mama, the whole pedo jacketing people that disagree with her thing. It was a very big drama of, like, I mean, hell, even Vosh agreed that she was in the wrong, and I've talked to Vosh about this in private, and there's a reason why he doesn't really engage with her publicly anymore, because he doesn't agree with what she did. Um, a lot of people Publicly. don't agree with what she did, and oh. I think Demon Mama handles it probably a lot better. Than so what he cares about is that you're not publicly supporting her. It doesn't affect him. Oh, that's lame. I don't have anyone that could take on grass types yet. That's not great. Okay. ...than I do. She has gotten enormous <clears throat> amounts of harassment. Just the fact that she's a trans woman on the internet means she'll always get more harassment than I will ever get. Like, just baseline. And so she's just got, like, that much thicker skin, I think. But when Shu did that, that was my first time ever having, like, a massive figure throw false pedo allegations at me. And to this day, I look through my comments, and I'm still getting uh, comments from Shu on Head fans that are along the lines of, like, you're a groomer. A lot of them are commenting under the assumption I'm a trans woman, because if you're pro-trans, you must be a trans person online, I guess. And, and like their transphobic comments, their their death threats on this post. And I have to comb through and ban all these people through my comment section daily since like April, since, like for this whole year since I, I burnt the bridge with Shu. And my reason for doing so was simply because she was pr like purporting and started really, she's the one who popularized one of the biggest gay groomer panic narratives out there with the Balenciaga drama. And that evolved into where we are now where literally Republican presidential candidates are talking about gay groomers up on stage before the Balenciaga Damn, thing. Damn, this room is just, these rumors are phenomenon. killing me. About that. That's that drama blew it up true. into the mainstream. That, no, it no, was, that's it was not true, nowhere near as During big the prior to the Balenciaga drama, thing. I was covering the anti-trans bills. They, this was oh, that actually reminds me as well, because pri the, the biggest reason that I burnt the bridge was prior to this, Shuan had actually ended up, quote-unquote, inspiring... 
that's kind of a stretch of the word, I would say. But the actual thing that happened was a Republican politician. Um, I think it might have been a congressman or a senator. I don't remember exactly. Um, big deal Republican politician ended up seeing one of Shu's videos talking about uh, pr gay pride discourse and ended up pushing a bill that would restrict the rights for trans and gay people to be trans or gay in public, like, at all. And, uh, like, Shuan had had to make an apology post about this. It was, like, a big thing. And she promised she wouldn't do this kind of thing again. And I was like, listen, she apologized for it. Do you know why she apologized? And then apologized? the Balenciaga thing happened. Why did she apologize? Because she reached out to me and said that she thought she f***ed up, and she asked for my advice on how to make an apology. Uh, okay. I think so is she vindicated? I think that she's actually willing to listen to people and she's willing to admit when she f***ed up. But at the same hmm. time, I don't know why I have to answer right now for everything that she's done when I'm not her. I don't understand how this has gone from me covering so... her in a drama with Thought Slime into me hmm. having to defend everything that she's ever done. Sure. So I honestly don't like the idea of... So, so I don't think that I need to control other people's friends and everything like that. Um, yeah. If I feel like I'm friends with somebody who is too friendly with someone that I has done something really bad to me, it bothers me a lot. Maybe that's just me. That's something that feels really hurtful, especially with how malicious and, and, and actively dedicated to trying to hurt me Shu was. One of uh, somebody that she actually allowed to follow her private account uh, ended up sending me a tweet she'd made where she said, I'm currently working on a slander hall video. She was talking, she was going to make a video and she called it a slander hall video. Um, and uh, once it leaked, that, that tweet that she made leaked, how she was planning to make a video about me, um, like leaked. I talked about it on stream and I did a segment on it. You can find it on my mm -hmm. channel. And she canceled the idea. But uh, thanks to the person who leaked that to me. I'm never going to say who that was. But yeah, she was actively planning like my downfall. She wanted to get revenge against me for actually not just getting destroyed by her pedo jacketing allegations Zan, haven't you made. done like six videos on her before <sighs> six videos on her like criticizing her yeah oh i think shit. i've probably done two criticizing her because any that i did before that me and her were friends i i don't think i've made a video criticizing her unprompted unless it was like she engaged with me she hasn't made a video about three, you at all. At most. And you've put out three and videos that's on her. Thing, why... Because I'm related. I'm always mentioned. It has to do with but me. If, if you've done three videos about her, why is it the greatest sin that she does a response she, video? She called it the slander hall video. She was planning a video in which she was going to slander me. That's why her own followers that no, knew if, both of us if that she were was gonna allowed call onto her private Twitter leaked it to video, That means me. that she's calling you the slander. Is this guy retarded wait i'm sorry slander hall has been like a nickname for zan for like as long as i've been streaming because people would say that he's lying about them so they called him slander hall meaning that he's the slanderer hey. if you've done three i did maybe three at most and always but that's the thing why because i'm r related i'm always mentioned it has to do with but me. But if, if you've done three videos about her, why is it the greatest sin that she does a response she, video? She called it the slander hall. The slanderer. Oh. A video in which she was going to slander me. That's why her own followers that no, knew if, both of us if that she were was gonna allowed call onto the her private Twitter video, leaked it That to means me. that she's calling you the slanderer. He's like actually retarded. If that's how you want to interpret it, I guess so. But does that really sound like she's sorry if she, like, my criticism of her was for spreading gay groomer stuff, oh, and so her response tackle. is to plan a premeditated, like, takedown video on me to try to destroy me as, like, a YouTuber with millions more subs than me? Like, does that sound sorry? Well, you keep saying that she sent her off- She- I can attack her as ruthlessly as I want to, but if she responds, it's violence, and she wants to destroy my career. Make it make sense, guys. Oh, she's bigger than me. Yeah, that's why you make videos on her. You make videos on her. Why? Because she she's larger and you can get more clout. And you can get more clicks on your video.
off of someone that the left hates. That's why you want to make the video. Because she's larger. You don't get to have some shield because you're a smaller creator. Audience to give you, like, send you death threats, which that's yeah. slander. She didn't do that. No, she quote tweeted me and her audience calling me a defender of groomers. So I don't know how, like, she called me a groomer defending creep, I believe it was. She specifically called me a creep in her quote tweet, then blocked me. And ever since then, I've had constant death threats coming from that tweet. Not to mention, the thing that started all of this was her quote tweeting and agreeing with a neo-Nazi that she's friends with named Pedro Gonzalez or something like that. That was the one purporting this shit. I was responding to that guy that she was talking to who was doing the gay groomer shit and talking about how these people need to be killed. By these people, he meant trans people. Can you show me the tweet? Because when I was trying to look into, because this is so old, when I was trying to look into all of this, I was very confused. But absolutely, this feels like it is getting really off topic because I haven't defended any of sure. these things. So, so like I said, if we just want to get back on the topic, my general Ooh. point is that I don't care if you want to be friends with Sean Head. It's more so that I don't want to be friends with somebody who wants to be friends with Sean Head. And I apply the same thing to myself. If you Ooh. ever approached me and said, hey, yeah, this wait, YouTuber that's not true. that you're friends with... That's not what? true, Zan. You contradicted yourself earlier in this conversation. Yep. You said that Vosh is still privately friends with Shoe on Head. So you were very much willing say, to be friends with somebody I don't who's know, friends with Shoe on Head. I don't know how close Shoe on Head and Vosh are. From what I've talked to him about, it doesn't sound like they're all that close. I've talked to him about this, and he doesn't agree with what he did, with, with what she did. And that's why he refuses to talk about her platform her publicly, because what she did was very clearly malicious. Okay, you get to you get to like pick and choose what level each person. Hold on a second. Oh my God, we have just enough letters for slander hall. Why? <laughs> yeah, when isn't Zan being cringe? But like, here here's the question: Why do you get to choose what um what level of you know? What, what, what level of engagement other people have arbitrarily, like, okay, Vosh, he's too, he's too important to Zan's career for Zan to ever, you know, step up to Vosh. He just can't do it. Abuser behavior 101. Yeah, so Vosh, Vosh can, you know, be friends with Shu, you know. Um, he, he probably said something sexist about her once or twice. And so therefore Xander Hall is fine with it, but God forbid you vaguely, you vaguely, you vaguely defend them in public and suddenly they're the bad guy and they need to be cut out of your life forever. Despite all the other people who like still associate with her in general, you know, aren't having their, their bridges burned. That's insane. Delicious and f***ed up. There's really no way around it. Here, I'm uh, bringing up the the uh, screenshots right now. So is this less of an issue with her associating with Shoe on Head and more of an issue with her platforming her? Is that where your real underlying issue is here? That's a big part of it, frankly. Like, honestly, if, if Keffels had just like quietly been friends with Shu and hadn't like blown up at that chatter who had referenced what Shu did to me in a negative way, the um, chatter I, I probably wasn't wouldn't have taken it. So... Either you or Demon Mama. Like you can go back to the but video. Neither of your names. Keffels, are did mentioned. I not? Do you remember when I told you what Shu had done to me and Demon Mama before? I I think it, again, it's not just his pride is on the line, although that's probably some part of it. It's like it's the fact that he has this strong line in the sand that he has at a very emotional level, right? He has this line in the sand, but. That line is at different points for different people, right? And he doesn't know how to square that away so far. Maybe he'll have a, a great way to... One second, let me... Who is the guy that gives you cut? Yeah, he, he doesn't know how to, like, so far justify, you know, cutting off Keffels, but not cutting off Vosh. Even though it's not like she's, like, sitting there, like, sucking Shu's dick, like, super hard, right? She's just there slightly talking about uh slightly talking about shoe and then moved on uh, that's what it seems like to me so far i haven't watched her video on it but 
figure that when they directly reference pedo jacketing people that she disagrees. And then it's also he it's his audience on the line as well, because he again. It, it all comes down to audience. His audience is probably what caused him to, you know, say, well, I can't associate with Shu anymore. I can't defend her actions anymore. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to sell her out or whatever the f um, And anyone that associates with her, now he has to cut ties with them as well, right? And part of it is... Um, so there's like the audience pressure, there's the personal pressure, and there is, um, I think, like a built up mythology that people um, do in this space. When someone has wronged them or they get into a fight with someone and they don't know how, really how to, you know, they don't really know how to justify how angry they are at someone, right? Because after a couple of days, the, the heat of the moment wears off and like they look back at it, it's like, really, that wasn't that big of a deal. I don't really need to have engaged with that person, right? Or I didn't even need to get that mad about the position because it's really not that crazy. I was just like really heated. Um, and so I think that some people will, instead of just like pulling back from that, they double down on it and they double down on it by creating the mythology in their mind. Well, this person was always a neo-Nazi or this person was always bad doing this or this person, you know, um, instead of saying, you know, I, I had this fight with this person. I didn't like the way that it turned out and I just don't want to talk to them anymore. Now it's, they have to like ideologically grind them into submission, you know? I found that lefties are more susceptible to audience capture tendencies. Well, that is, it's not just because it's leftist or it's the idea. Well, it's the ideology behind everything, right? Because the audience doesn't have any kind of tolerance for people that disagree with them, right? Whereas conservatives, they can get along with people that disagree with them more than leftists can, right? Two conservatives can disagree, one being like a hardcore libertarian and the other one being like a Christian nationalist. And they can, you know, they can pick out the things that they do agree with each other on and they can move on, right? But lefties can't do that. He's with, you would think that would be referencing that because everybody I've seen watch that clip seem to all, interpret it that way. With all due respect, you are not in the center of my universe and I don't remember every single drama you've been through. She says, who are you? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's fine. I mean, I feel like it's not very nice to be friends with somebody who has done something that heinous to somebody that you're also friends with. I didn't like it, and so I burnt the bridge. That's why I did it. And it seems like you're kind of willing to hand wave what Shu did and kind of even defend it and say she was sorry. You called me a snake and a dick rider before we even had a private conversation. Why are you shocked that I would be... No, angry. link it to me on Discord. Why is I Tom canceled? I told you that I felt bad for that after I found... Listen. If Tom wasn't canceled for this, I don't know what he, he'll get canceled for. So I think I should rape somebody. I'm definitely going to rape somebody. Yeah, I'm for sure going to rape somebody. That's a really good idea. But still, even after all those women he raped. Found out that when we first talked about this, you weren't. You never deleted sober. or apologized for it. How would I know you felt? Because bad? you never responded to my messages, reaching out to talk to you in private. I thought you were just ignoring me, and clearly you were, because you ended up instead of responding to me and talking to me in private after I messaged you multiple times on I, like days. I wasn't ignoring you. Asking get, to work it out. Making you made a segment ultimatum. about Already trauma. I literally say in my in my message, I don't want to make an ultimatum. That's why I burnt the bridge. I don't like being in this weird position where someone I'm friends with is friends with someone who's done something heinous to me and I either have to grit my teeth and bear it or axe a friendship or deal with some crazy drama like this. You see, it's how, really frustrating. you see how burning the bridge because you don't want to make an ultimatum is just making the ultimatum? It, it's not because there is no ultimatum. He was banned for, oh, gotcha. Never mind. You're basically it's just making burning the, the bridge. choice. For There's no you. choice. Exactly. But that's not what an ultimatum is. That's not what an ultimatum is. An ultimatum is an abusive abuse tactic when you say do this or I do this, not 
just doing the this no matter what the other person does. I didn't know what it was. Does, and making it clear that's what you're going to do. I literally said that I, I didn't want to talk about it in private at first because I figured that it would end up like that. But if you want to talk about it in private and you don't like that I made it a public thing, then we can work it out in private. But you didn't want to. So you, the, you the definition of ultimatum is a final demand or statement of terms, the rejection of which will result in retaliation. Bitch busted out Marion Webster so on her. <laughs> you were giving one. You oh, add the okay. demand, I, it's either I don't associate with Shu or I can't be friends with you. And I, uh, all right. you made the call. I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. I simply am glad that I was able to come on and explain why I felt hurt by you. I, I felt that I'd explain what Shu did to me and to Demon Mama, who got it arguably the worst. I would say Sh Demon Mama had to have gotten it the worst because Shu on head... When she made her video about all of the creeps and pedos, as she calls them, defending uh, Balenciaga, she censored me, as well as everybody else that she covered in the video, but she didn't censor the identity of the one trans person she covered, and that was Demon Mama. She half-ass censored everybody that she responded to, including me, but Demon Mama was the one person she didn't even try with. So Demon Mama, with, you know, Shuan Head's massively transphobic audience, basically probably got it the worst. Yeah, I agree I that pretty, that was and I got it up. pretty bad. I'll agree that's fucked up, but what does it have to do with me? I mean, it seems as though that chatter, as well as quite a few other people, don't really like the idea of Sean Head being normalized, platformed, and continuing to be given charitability here on the left. And like, I've kind of gotten I... to that edge, and I feel like it is both a a, a personal relationship betrayal and a somewhat betrayal of what we're supposed to be doing here for lack of better phrasing i guess it's all about the movement guys for good ideas it's all about the movement being a good it's all about the movement guys will you ever have shoe on to cover something again like your tpusa video i single-handedly blame that video for me moving left lamau i legitimately think that shoe on head and i going over that tpusa video was one of the best pieces of like political advocacy that i ever did unfortunately right now it's not in the cards maybe things will change in the future but at the moment it's not in the cards man the shoe thing is so complicated i think that you can actually see my autism come out really easily with the shoe on head stuff because normally when it comes to my relationships with people online they're either friendly and affirmative which is easy or outright hatred which is easy but with shoe even if i don't talk to shoe you know no amount of personal distaste that i have for her political takes or anything that she's said or done takes away from the fact that for literal years she was a close friend of mine and could potentially be in the future if we talked again under the right circumstances. And that ambiguity is like autism, you know, like kindlings right there, you know what I mean? So hard to read people in that interstitial space. But I, I don't think that Chu is or ever has been malicious towards me. That's that's charitability that I'll always assign her. Will you ever have Shu on to cover something again like your TPUSA video? I sing Huh. And Zan got mad about that? Oh, had no issue with this, even though it's from months ago. Mmm. Can I ask you a question, Xander Hall? Sure, Tipster. It seems to me that Xander Hall saw, you know, here's an opportunity for me to uh, get a little bit of, uh, you know, drama with a much larger YouTuber uh, on the left, right? That people probably have pressured him a little bit to come out against, you know? There's probably a couple of people that have uh, pressured him to not be, uh, not to, not to, uh, be friends with Keffels because she's uh, there was Noodlegate and there was all these other things and so you know he probably was a, a little bit primed already to you know have lighter fluid on that bridge but like the second she gave him a reason the second she gave him a reason boy he lit that match do you think it's reasonable in a space where you know multiple what content you, creators and social media influencers interact with one each one another do you think it's reasonable to not expect there to be some kind of crossover with people that you associate with, with people that you might not particularly like? Do you think it's reasonable to expect that? Because, I mean, if I'm being honest, like there's people really? that you associate with that I'm not super fond of, but I would never personally put you in a position where I've made you feel like you have to choose or anything like that. So I guess you, I, I'm just asking, do you think that that's a reasonable expectation in a space like this? 
Oh, is there? Oh, nice. There's a chat. I can post the screenshot of Shu uh, with the Nazi dude. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. So basically, I have grown very, like, I guess the word for it would be blackpilled on, like, friendships with content creators. I found that for the most part... It's because you don't know how to foster, like, friendships. It's because you don't know how to foster friendships. Treat people online the same way that you would treat people offline. Like, not everyone is out to get you. Like, I, I don't understand how this is such a complicated, uh, a complicated thing. I'm so blackpilled on friendships online. I don't have very many friends online and I know the reason, right? I'm not good at it. I, I was never, uh, I, I didn't grow up online. I didn't grow up uh, playing Xbox Live, right? All of, my, all of my interactions with other people growing up were always in real life. It wasn't until I was like, I want to say like the first time I seriously started having like friends online was when I was 21. The person who told him to burn the bridge was Demon Mama. Well, no, nobody like explicitly told him to burn the bridge. I, I think that it's just like a, a bunch of different factors that lead people to burn bridges and the, for like no reason. And all of the, all of the conditions were right for him to burn the bridge with her. But yeah, like I, I know why I don't have like a lot of online friends, right? I'm not good at communicating online unless it's like in an adversarial, um, in an adversarial uh, situation. Like if I'm debating someone or if I'm arguing with someone, I'm very good at that. I love arguing with people on the internet. Um, what I'm not good at is just like chilling and talking to people and having fun online. I can, I, I feel like, on stream, I'm not a very funny person. I don't think so. Right? In real life, I say funny shit all the time. <laughs> but I have to, like, watch myself when I'm online, right? And I also don't know, like, these people as well as I do people IRL. So, like, I'm, I'll hold back on jokes, right? Or things that are just, like, normal things I would do with normal people in the real, in the real world, right? I don't know what, like, the etiquette should be right intrinsically just like as a part of my being um so i know why i don't have online friends right but these other people they really don't have any excuse these people have been online and playing xbox live uh you know games and uh they've been youtubers for like 10 years doing minecraft videos like zan has like you you know how to have an online friendship but you're just not interested in fostering them because if you were to foster friendships like you do in real life, your audience would crucify you for the people that you're friends with, right? Like I'm friends, uh, I would say I'm friends with Andrew Wilson. Lefties, if I was still a leftist, I would get crucified over that shit. I would get dogpiled like a... It's just, I don't think that these people know how to act like human beings online. Okay, let's see what our encounter is. Oh, it's a Talo. Most people are not really willing to... Uh like have principles or morals with this kind of thing if there's a lot to be gained from maintaining a friendship. A lot of people are saying that I'm like, I'm hypocritical because I want to burn the bridge with Shu on head, but I won't with Vosh. I've almost burnt the bridge with Vosh multiple times over this. I nearly burnt the bridge with Vosh over this until his response to her was as brutal as it was. I was literally in the chat, like, I was in his Discord and in his chat saying, like, dude, this is a pathetic response. And Why? most of his fans agreed at the time because everyone was waiting for him to there actually, you know, criticize her for once. Um, yeah, no, I've been pretty consistent on these things. And frankly, I'm consistent with applying it to myself. Keffels, if you'd ever reached out to me to say, hey, insert YouTuber that you're friends with or you talk to or you even retweet on Twitter or, like, react to the videos of on stream, they did this up shit to me i i know that you're cool with them and i know it wasn't to you and it doesn't affect you in any way but it makes me really uncomfortable that you're still friends with them i would be like you know what them and i can even give an example of a time i did this um i won't say who the oh zan you're so pure you're so great dude you're so great like the keffels if someone was talking shit about you i would i would burn any bridge i would burn any bridge for you keffels but you wouldn't burn a bridge for me and that's why I'm burning this bridge. Like, come the f*** on. All right, guys, name the Talo. Drama was with, but a friend, someone we both know, reached out to me and said it that another person... It is high school behavior. It's really annoying. ...retweeting and quote-tweeting on uh, Twitter 
like positively, had engaged in a harassment campaign against her. And uh, name, I had no idea about this. I had no idea. And I liked the person who had supposedly Sam? done this. But she sent me the evidence, and I was like, oh, f And I immediately responded by unfollowing that person Twitter, and blocking oof. them. Um, and no longer ever in any form giving them a platform or positive voice. I don't expect everybody to have that level of dedication to that, but it's a standard I apply for myself, and it's a standard that I like to have people meet for me, because I would give the same for them, I guess, is, is the best way to put it. So, Zan, this is a situation that happens to me quite frequently. For instance, Demon Mama, for a while, was planning a podcast, and one of the co-hosts, and I'll just say their name, President Sunday, was someone who had fre <laughs> frequently um, slandered me, made up lies about me, made up positions I didn't actually That's hold. That's insane. Said that That's I stole insane money from statement, my fans. Holy and I basically, I didn't do anything with the fact that Demon Mama was friends with someone and was working with someone who, quite frankly, I hate. But Maybe I'm too sensitive. I, I don't know, but I, I feel like... In this space, I, I mean, I've got a pretty healthy population of IRL Birdo. friends, and when it comes to, like, the internet space, I find that things can, are, are so weird when it comes to friendships. It feels like, it, it feels it as though any moment something's going to come along been way better. Okay, we're naming the next Pokemon you've got to either defend your friend or your friendship with that person, um... Or, or, like, sacrifice it, and then your reputation might be on the line. Um, like, recently, there was some bullshit drama that you faced, and I actually, this is like, days ago. I might even have the video, like, up in a couple days defending you. Um, where, like, some, it wasn't even leaked logs. It was just messages you posted in public in Discord about how you think you, people should probably have gender dysphoria if they're going to get irreversible time. bottom surgery or top surgery. And people were saying you were a trans med or a true scum for that. And I was like, guys, guys, no, no, obviously we should be having, and, and I made a video defending you for that. And a Hi, Sansel. I'm sorry for being obnoxious at times. I just don't know why we can't be friends. We have similar social goals, just different tactics of implementing them. Why can't I get a chance? Hey, you haven't accused me of being a Marxist. So you know what? You're doing okay. A lot of people were mad saying, no, she's a true scum. No, she's a true scum. And, I, and it's weird, because when you're a content creator, sometimes, no matter whether or not your friend's in the right or the wrong, and I think you were in the right, um, like, I, I don't really think there was anything particularly disagreeable there, sometimes you're put in this position where you've got to, like, sacrifice sometimes a substantial amount of your own livelihood to defend the idea or prospect of continuing to be friends with a person. Um, that it's happened to me before. Like, I lost tons of subs prior to burning the shoe on head bridge for defending shoe on head. And it's made my view of online friendships really grim. And You're such it's, a victim, it's often Zan. that I'll have a chatter come in and try to start something, like what happened with me um, and with me and you. And sometimes it's nothing, and I'm like, ah, I got you. You're just trying to, you, you're just trying to stir up drama. And sometimes it's something that's like genuinely, wow, I'm, I'm glad I saw this. This, this genuinely does hurt me, and, I, and I'm, I'm glad this was brought to my attention. And that's kind of how I felt after I saw that clip, because from my thought process, months and months ago I'd explained to you what Shuan Head and Demon Mama did. Or not Shuan Head and Demon Mama, what Shuan Head did to D me and Demon Mama. And then that chatter criticized your positive platforming Whoa. of shoe on head which is also something i take issue with um by mentioning i arguably vaguely i'll agree but vaguely mentioning um what shoe on head did to me in demon mama without mentioning our names and then you responded antagonistically towards that person so from my perspective and i don't think this is what you meant assume like i'm being very charitable i don't think that's what you meant um from my perspective what it looked like was Knowing what she had done to me and Demon Mama, you heard a chatter reference it, say, she will do this to you if you ever disagree with her. Why are you defending her? And your response was to call them terminally online, yeah. indicating that anybody who takes issue with what Shu did to me and Demon Mama has recognized the right. pattern of how so she So the person didn't against... mention either Shu or Demon Mama and was simply creating a position that someone that they do not know holds? 
And that was the problem. That's what I think is parasocial. When people treat content creators like they're all characters in a soap opera or something instead of actual people. I feel like the CIA has killed the original Keffels or abducted her and is holding her in some CIA black site. And now we have some AI generated Keffels that's here now. <laughs> because... This is a very normal thing. This is a very normal, normal human being thing to say about online content creators. We are coworkers and not friends. Stop being so gay. I mean, that's what she needs to say. But like, she's, how is it that Keffel's, after all the shit that went on, uh, at the, uh, what was it? March to August of last year? Probably get rid of Harden. She gets weird and manipulative in a bit. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Her memory was wiped by the men in black, yeah. Um, her. Uh, possibly black mask, but you have to show that you're actually a reformed human being. That's not gonna, like, spurg out every single time something comes up that irritates you. But I, I really don't think... So, for example, a lot of people talk about the harassment that you face, and they call it drama. They say, oh yeah, Keffels is in some drama right now. Meanwhile, it's you're getting death threats. People are trying to swat you and dox you and find your address, right? Um, and I hate it. I, I really hate when I hear that kind of stuff. I hate when people refer to stuff that isn't unironic, petty, I can't remember what happened nothing, with Aaron stuff, stuff online as drama. Um, people do this with serious stuff all the time, and it really upsets me. S accusing somebody who is a... Like, how much i don't even know how many subs shuan head has probably a oh, few million right. right i've got almost a hundred thousand subs no just actually normal my black way mask shuan head has mag well back then i had way less shuan head's magnitudes larger than me and her response to me calling out her support of a conspiracy theory started by nazis about how companies are trying to push gay lgbt groomer propaganda and normalization on people um, I, I'm trying to post the screenshot of it. Do I have to doubt? Um, I think, that's, copy -paste? I think uh, that's where we're like the point of contention really is mm -hmm. like destiny wrote a whole manifesto about, I, I know about what happened with Aaron green. I just can't remember the details of it. I was, I, I know more than you think I know about it. I just can't remember exactly. It's been a long time. He, he said mm -hmm. some up things about me. I don't care if you're his friend or if you ever want to get close to destiny or anything like that cuz i it doesn't really affect me you know mm -hmm. like um the way that i see this entire space basically this this is an office you know we all oh, work there together. she goes We're co -workers. we are co -workers. we don't all have to like each other but Yo. we do have to be able to work andre in the got same it right <laughs> Yeah, and sure. that's kind of what I was alluding to earlier as well, is the fact that, you know, this is a vast space with, you know, several different creators from several different backgrounds, and there's tons of crossover between all these creators. So, like, there's going to be times when people you associate with uh, either interact with or even develop friendships with people that you don't like. And, you know, is it, like, a little bit uncomfortable at times when these things happen? Yeah, sure. But, I mean, it's just part of being in this space. There is going to be crossover with people that you associate. Is there anything wrong with this metaphor of people in this space being coworkers? Like, I think that you could be coworkers and friends, right? But, like, you should treat people as, like, coworkers in this space. I do think so. Like, in general. Like, of course, the works, the, the office that we're all in is in a very, very loosey goosey, laissez faire, hands off, uh, you know, kind of, you know, work situation. But yeah, I do think that, like, if more people treated this space like an office space, right, the content would be better. Number one. Number two, there would be more content. But uh, again, I haven't had like a, an actual legit debate with someone probably probably in like four or five months, right? It used to be a daily thing on my stream. Why did that stop happening? It stopped happening because most people just realized that uh, they either couldn't handle the debate space, right? Or it was too damaging for their brand because they kept on being made to look like a
idiot because they probably were or they had really shit opinions so they stopped engaging in any debate or really in any capacity with people that disagree with them whatsoever you're open to have my offer of debate but that's not going to happen well i'm not going to lie you're a 15 year old it doesn't make me look good to debate a 15 year old and come out on top I think it's more like completely separate office buildings and different wings. Well, that's the way it is now. But you weren't around when I first started streaming during COVID. Um, wait, Tom, do you have a do you or can you find a link to the uh, Twitch politics uh, tier lists? Twitch politics tier list. Oh, look at that. Like, look at the amount of people that are on this. Okay, and this this seems like an even this seems even smaller than what I thought it was going to be. At any given point, you could log on, and there would be at least ten people on, most of which were willing to talk. Where am I? This was your you have not been added. Who made this list? One second. Best Twitch politics ranking last updated. Where am I on this list? B tier. Uh-oh. Last updated when? March of last year, bro. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. Look at Dario still there. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, when I started streaming, most, if not all, of these people were live at least two times a week. And they would talk together. They would argue. They would compare notes. It was like this really cool little space. That was on Twitch. Yeah, Rose Riss is on here. He's on there somewhere. But like, let's let's look at like the list now. Banned off of Twitch, but he's still on YouTube. He's still around. Gone. No longer really like in the Twitch politics space. Kind of semi like semi in the space still. Doesn't really engage with anyone. He's off on kicking, you know, doing Rizzler stuff. Um, does, doesn't engage, doesn't engage, doesn't engage, doesn't engage. He does occasionally. All right. Gone. I don't think Zan debates anymore. He's, uh, Chud's m kind of removed himself from Twitch politics. Rob is still Rob. Um, gone, 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 gone. Unfortunately still around. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Uh, terrorist supporter. Don't know who the f that is. Gone, gone. I actually don't know if Mr. Geek still streams. So I'll, you know, uh, this was this isn't Sam Cedar. This is uh, this is someone that used his picture for something. I think so. Gone. I think Freems is gone. That's Prime. So he's still around. <laughs> Somewhat gone gone doesn't engage doesn't engage oh she's still or they're still here uh gone gone i think gone gone i don't know who that was gone 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 don't know who that is gone <laughs> it recently returned but now a like groiper gone unfortunately still around oh joe so still here, gone. Pixie came back. Gone. Gone. I'm technically still around. Gone. 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 Like, it's just like, there's no more Twitch politics. There's no more Twitch politics. And you will, you would be hard pressed to find anyone below B tier still around. Right. I'm saying he doesn't stream, right? Like, there, you're not going to just like, be able to hop on to like a, a conversation with him after getting into an argument with him in chat. Like all of these things, uh, all of these people are gone. The space is completely dead compared to what it was when I first started streaming. Um, so it might seem like it's just like a bunch of different office buildings uh, with, or like an office building with different wings. Like, yeah, that's kind of how it kind of seems now, but people don't treat it like that. It's exclusive social clubs that people have, created out of the office building that we were all in and then they kicked other people out or got them fired on spurious allegations and that's where we're at you know like it, it's just it, the the space is is dead lecture fan is streaming now oh shit is he did he come back i thought that he quit after um some like big 
argument that he had. Problem is there's no unifying panels. No, the culture is completely dead. And like, I, man, it really seems like I'm coping hard about leftists this stream because I'm talking about why they can't maintain friendships and why all these people cancel each other. Uh, but like the, the left destroyed the space. They hounded panel hosts about like uh, this platforming of a person or that or this topic or that topic or why don't you let me onto your thing? Do you hate trans people? Right. Until like the panel hosts that were there are gone. Right. They uh, ruthlessly attacked people until they quit streaming. So it like poisoned other people from ever wanting to talk to them or people around them because they might be the target next. Like the entire space is just dead because people siloed themselves off they um uh after siloing themselves off they would then like do coordinated attacks on other streamers like it's just gone it's gone non-liberal leftists don't feel the need to debate right because they use their their ideology as like a muscle suit a kevlar vest what I've noticed, if you disagree on anything, streamers will just ban you instantly and there is no more conversations on anything. Uh, it's just suck each other's dicks on every topic, yeah. And the people who are around don't do any research. Well, the reason they don't do any research is because why would they? When they can get a narrative from someone that's larger than them and then they can repeat it ad nauseum? Associate with that uh, you don't necessarily like. It, it, it constantly happens. And I think... I think trying to, I, I, I don't know, have these like requests of people not associating with people just because but, you have a have personal issue with bitch? them, I, I just don't see it as reasonable. But that's just my see, personal take on it. See, I think. I feel like I've. Oh, sorry. No, Zan, like, I feel like it's unreasonable to want to burn the bridge over this when all I did was simply react to some drama that she was in. But if you were to put out a video, like, putting out your case for why she was a piece of shit and here are all the ways that she has wronged you and then i responded to that video attacking you and defending shu i feel like that'd be a completely different case because i've gone out of my way i've gone to bat for you and that's why this hurts so much that you were immediately willing to call me a snake and a dick rider when i've never said anything even half as mean about you publicly or privately for that matter I'll admit I definitely yeah. got a bit emotional because I, I felt very betrayed. And the reason why I immediately jumped to Twitter was because it, it felt as though you already knew about this. Like, it felt as though you're, like, you had heard about this, you knew about it all, and basically didn't care. That, that's, base, that, that, that's how it felt, and, and that upset me. Like, I feel like if I told my friend that somebody that they're also friends with did, like, a heinous thing to me, and then they continued going on like they didn't care. That would feel like pretty snaky behavior, wouldn't it? I do apologize for making the tweet. I, I, I jumped to, I jumped pretty quick, but like, I, I don't feel like it was this awful, horrible thing that, that we couldn't have continued to work out in private after that point. I tried to. Well, after, after you said what I'm... you said, I wasn't. I didn't know well, if you were going to come at this in good faith. Oh, I, shut I, up. I try to always be good faith. I, I never in, in at any point the, in this busting out the <laughs> debate road uh, soy terms. Wanted to be bad faith, right? Like I, I was just I felt betrayed by somebody who I felt like was a friend of mine because like I was hoping that when it, like we could hang but out in real life is, and shit, the and I can't is still up. Yeah, because we. You You're didn't respond to my blast, messages blast. asking to work it out in private and then made a, a drama stream about it. Why I don't would think I, take I have very much down? in common with either You of made them. the tweet um, three minutes after my first reply to you in DMs while you were still live on stream. I don't think I'd seen your reply yet. How's it going yes, I was live on stream. I saw it on stream and I reacted to it on stream. Right, so you... That's you... part of why... Uh, that's probably a, a good bit of why my reaction was as quick to to drop as as it was i'm sure i would have been a little bit less heated had i been able to take a few more seconds i'll admit that but i don't think that my contention here or my my issue with what's happened is all that unreasonable i think that a lot of people um i think a lot of people have a hard time understanding how rough it is getting mass amounts of harassment online and that was my biggest 
like harassment campaign I'd ever received. So much so that I still receive the trickling in to this day, right? And um, it was from someone who I was previously friends with. And that's happened. But you can't point towards where they actually sent anyone after you. That's the entire problem, Zan. You can't actually point towards anything that someone did to you directly. Y'all had a falling out. It was public. She never directed anyone towards you. But because she's bigger than you, any response towards you is a harassment campaign that tried to get you completely destroyed. It's just like a, an unbelievable uh, victim complex. It's crazy. And many times, like the th stuff like what happened with Shuan Head, I've, I burnt a lot of bridges, and a lot of them were burnt for good reasons. Zan. Um, yeah. The center, you're, you're at, oh man, you're triggering the f out of me. The center is much closer to the far right than it is to the far left. You are coping super hard if you believe that. You're not dumb. You are scared because the far left have indoctrinated you into thinking Matt Walsh is evil, so you focus on him. No, I think that Matt Walsh is evil because he's a, he's a scum human being he is not a good person it's not that i just hate his politics which i do or think that he's stupid which i also do i think he's a bad person i don't think there is an ounce of good in that man whatsoever i think he is an i think he's just a bad person nick is closer to the center than hassan i would say that in some ways, the right is the, the center is closer to the right, and in some ways, they're closer to the left. But if you think that the center is closer to the far right, and you're in here saying that uh, advocacy for LGBT is akin to terrorism, then you're not, you, you don't, you, you have no idea about what's going on in the real world. Because most centrists, guess what, are okay with gay people. Most centrists, guess what, are okay with trans people. It is, it's all to varying degrees. There is not a single thing that Polly has ever said that has ever guided a single, like, a, a single ounce of my political beliefs or my beliefs on a certain human being. Polly is also a scum human being. You know what, actually, in, actually, no, just, you know what, you know what, maybe, maybe we'll bully this kid in, uh, in a call after this. Zan. Get through this. In the so. harassment campaign I was in, it escalated to the point where I had firearms pointed at me. I understand. And then I had streamers yes, who I'm were saying that that was down. a lie and it never happened, who were making hundreds of thousands of views off the situation. And I'm still friendly with the streamers who are friends with him. You know? That's sure. yeah, I mean, I'm, far I, worse. I don't know why you're not willing to extend grace to someone who has been, who's had your back and who has been by your side. Because I definitely went to bat for you through all the Sasha stuff. How much? How how I, much further I, into this I, do I we got to get? Should we skip that, forward some? But like, I don't feel like something that maybe I just think about it as more severe. But like, I, I mean, because of shoe on head, I I get constant. I get constantly called a, a pedo and death threats. I, I I'm pretty upset about it. I can't really like let that go or and like bit my grit my teeth and bear it. And the fact that she like actively planned on making a video to try to take me down and like stop because I found out she was doing it because it relied on like dropping a video by surprise and not giving me time to respond. Like it was an active attempt at like career assassination, obviously. Um, she called it the Slander <laughs> Hall video, but I know you tried to defend that as calling me Slander Hall. Um, I don't know, I just, I think that's, like, I, I, I personally c couldn't, wouldn't be able to feel comfortable with, like, hanging out with you or trusting you with stuff. Like, that's a big part of it. Like, at a certain point, like, okay, but this person's fr also friends with someone who hates me and wants to see my career end. Can I really trust this person with anything? Like, it, like, anything? Like, can I be friends with somebody who, who is also friends with someone who wants to see me burn? Like, what if she... Career assassination and what career, sir? Well, it's not even just that, because he has a career in being a YouTuber, but the, where did she try to career assassinate you? You had a falling out. 
is every t- single time someone like disagrees with you and then they say like they have a public falling out with you, them trying to career assassinate you. Can you point towards one thing where she said that you need to be like mass reported or like deplatformed or anything like that the way that you have about her? Who is the career assassin? She decides that she's more friends with Shu one day. Yeah, you're still friends with Vosh. He's friends with Shu. Yes, we watched the video earlier. We didn't even see. We didn't even see what comment was his. Because she blurred everyone's names out. Except for Demon Mamas. <laughs> Based. But you understand how, how that, like, how that thought process is, right? Like, I, I don't feel like it's oh, it that crazy. Attention. But I understand... That if you're not someone who really feels that way, why it might seem that I'm just jumping the gun? A planned hit piece. She was going to put out a video called, uh, uh, or put out a video about Slander Hall because Zan has put out multiple videos on her. She was going to respond to him slandering her. Um, I think people have a tendency to dehumanize content creators a bit too much. I'm people are telling me like touch grass and stuff and it's like dog I I barely post on Twitter compared to how much other content creators do I'm basically always touching grass I the reason why I come into this space and I get so upset about this shit is because I'm not used to the kind of shit that goes down online um I find I, that I feel weird like it's because very... you've been at this longer than I have Yeah but I I don't like, I, I stream, and I, I, I hop on Twitter every once in a while, but mostly I'm just, like, hanging out with my friends. Come on. Or, like, maybe I'll watch, like, YouTube and movies and stuff. I, I don't really spend a lot of time engaging online when I don't have to. I try not to, at least. I'm always after touching I got Twitter and I got exposed to how so... nice it is to not be on there. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it just feels as though it's, it almost feels more terminally online to say you have to look past this person. Like, if I, I feel like if I had a real life friend and one of them accused falsely my other real life friend of um, being a pedophile in an attempt or like being a but pedo But she hasn't done in that, an attempt Zan. to retaliatorily like spread misinfo and rumors about them to destroy them it's all I a construction like of your mind moral obligation it never happened pick at that point like there's there's no way i i would feel that i could continue being friends with both of them clearly somebody was in the wrong in all of this and i don't want to be associated with the person who is in the wrong and the that's just alert. how i go about things is there no right i mark? i don't think that it's a I'm I'm just confused. I'm confused by the whole thing. Because if this yeah, was a I, situation, I don't think I'm there. I, I don't think anybody has a problem with the way that you feel about Shu. Like she did you dirty. I mean, everybody in this call has faced like harassment campaigns and been under attack by larger creators. It's happened to all of us. So we can definitely empathize with the way you feel about Shu. I just don't think I, I just don't think pulling a guilt by association with Kefels, I don't, I don't think that's the move. But that's that's just how I feel about it. I don't know. I just think it's funny that I got, like, literally years of harassment for being friends with Shu on head. And then when I finally, like, called her out because what she was doing was so clearly a pattern that I not even I, after years of being friends with her, uh, could make excuses for it anymore. Now I get shit for holding other people to that same standard. Um, I, I think that aspect of it's a little funny too. Um, but like, yeah, no, I, I, I genuinely do silly, feel betrayed funny. and, uh, like I could never trust somebody, uh, who, who continued being, uh, friends with somebody who, who is that willing to try but to take me down. Vosh is still so... friends with Shu. Oh, really? Zan and, is and... going on about this right now? No shit. Even B1B, uh, this box wasn't picked. So why wasn't, oh, yeah. I don't want them to get harassed or have to get pulled into any drama. Anyway, we'll resume. His response, and then Mudahar put out his response. To uh, Kefels talking to, talking to someone who pe uh, everything. But yeah, it's just like, dude, dude, wh why are you being this pedantic? It's because he's friends with Shu's husband, has to protect his reputation in order to defend his own. So ba learned a lot? Hell yeah. Well, hopefully none of you guys get fooled into buying that game, because it is a massive, massive scam. Friends with Shu's husband? 
um, and really needs to defend the idea that Shu's husband's not a Nazi. He's currently like really, really harping in on my claiming that Shu's husband is a Nazi. And he's like, where has he ever been anti-Semitic? Where has he ever been anti-Semitic? I, I don't know if that's how he actually said it. I've actually never heard President Sunday talk. Um, wh where has he ever been anti-Semitic? And it's like, um, I would say like the, the clips of him saying the great replacement, like the tweets where well, he says the great replacement. Hold on, you watched two hours. Did he start off with this? To craft slash adventure two by Slamma. Yes, it is high tail music. Good friend of mine, Slamma, made the dramas that have had much of the context buried and forced me to defend myself for, from dramas that like long ago happened and I was like unanimously ruled to have been in the right, such as the shoe on head versus me drama. Um, apparently President Sunday and Loaderbox and no doubt many others are trying to claim that shoe on head never once even came close to pedo jacketing me. And they claim it is in fact I and Demon Mama who pedo jacketed uh, Shu on the see what his by evidence me talking is about how when I was a teenager, like a kid teenager, posting like 14, evidence, 15, 16, posting logs, and I would watch Shu on head posting videos, evidence. She would be like on camera with her at the time fiance talking about their kink sex life. And I learned like a significant amount of shit from those videos just by the fact that she was making content to a relatively young audience, something she's admitted, and uh, was also talking about some pretty explicitly sexual stuff. I'm not even sure if I want to black mask. And I called that hypocritical. And they tried to accuse that of being pedo jacketing. But here's the evidence that they're so, like, convinced doesn't exist, by the way. Yeah, um, let's see it finally. This is from Shuan Head's Wikitubia page, by the way. How Shu... Shu later tweeted, too late, he did it, and unfollowed me. It's just like Contra, the Surf's Hunter, etc. All of them over pedo shit. Normal and cool. That's not calling you a pedophile. However, Xander Hall, look how famous I am. I'm, I'm on multi-million sub YouTubers Wikitubia pages, okay? I exist in the history of YouTube. Even if I, like, deleted my channel tomorrow, I have left an irreversible mark on the landscape of the internet. And frankly, that's, that's the dream, right? However, Xander Hall accused Shu of trying to incite gay panic because so the aforementioned... Tweeted, Chris Chan, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing by the neo Nazis in her audience with fodder they can use to justify the murder of gay people, but this time, the day after another anti gay terror attack. For those who don't know, this had all happened the day after, like, a huge anti gay terrorist attack that I believe there was a manifesto that specifically said they are um, motivated by the gay groomer shit. And so I see Shuan Head's replies and her mutuals tweeting about, yeah, Club Q shooting, thank you. Um, so I see, like, uh, uh, Shuan Head's replies, which are all, you know, Nazis, and her mutuals, which are a bunch of Nazis, tweeting about how this is connected to Balenciaga's Pride Month celebration, because remember, guys, she did this during Pride Month, and it was the day after a terrorist attack that was planned to happen during Pride Month because it was anti-gay motivated, and uh, her fan base was very predictably running with it. So I called it out. Shu later tweeted, Too late, he did it, and unfollowed me. Just like ContraPoints, The Serfs, Hunter Avalone, etc. All of them over pedo shit. Normal and cool. Not gonna stop me from talking about it. Mind you, the pedo shit in question is a literal conspiracy theory. She found a post from a Nazi named Brittany Venti, who um, was f famously banned from Twitch for doing a quote-unquote African cooking show, where she was making, like, noises and making mud pies. I think she tried to, like, deny it by saying, actually, in Haiti, which I I'm pretty certain Haiti is not part of Africa, by the way, um, in Haiti, they eat these cookies that are made out of mud. But it was, like, explicit, like, all the comments are like, you're a top-tier troll, and it's like, okay, yeah, so it's very... Very obvious. Yeah, friend of Shu's, by the way. Yes, of course. Yeah, Shu is friends with that person. Um, and also, one of the people that's trying to claim that Shu never did this is President Sunday, who is, like, personal friends with Shu's husband. He has a very vested interest in protecting the, like, the Who is Shu's of husband, Shu's and why is Sunday friends with him? Because he has personal friends with Shu's husband, and as someone who is so militantly progressive and, and virtue signaling as he is, being Aaron? actual personal Aaron? friends with a real Fuck! fascist looks really bad. And of course, I do have the receipts that he claims don't exist about uh, Shu's boyfriend, or, or, or I guess, um, husband, being a uh, Nazi as well. There's like tons of people posting screenshots in his replies, but the funny thing is, he refuses to respond to any of these. He literally, he won't, he'll like say, oh yeah, you've got evidence, show me, and then someone responds to the screenshot, and then he goes to argue with somebody else in the thread, it's really funny to watch. Anyway, here's one of the examples. This is Eudaimonia quote tweeting Natalie Wynn saying, So maddening to have watched white nationalism spread from Stormfront to 4chan to YouTube to Steve Bannon to Tucker Carlson to the manifestos of multiple mass murderers, and not taken seriously because they're not wearing a swastika, I believe is what this ended up saying. And then Eudaimonia, who is Shu's husband, quote tweets to say, yeah, that would be crazy if it were actually happening. They were dating at the time, by the way. This is a like by Eudaimonia. Quote, replacement theory is a dangerous conspiracy theory, but also Texas is going to be blue due to immigration in a decade and Republicans will never win another election. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So he believes in the Great Replacement, and he doesn't believe that white nationalism is spreading insidiously and causing violence to occur. That These are some takes that I feel like most people wouldn't get away with unless maybe being friendly with this guy meant you got to be friendly with a massive YouTuber who has a ton of clout. The fact is, I'm willing to nuke bridges with people that I literally nothing but gain from friendship from. Uh, like, I'm sorry, I, I was pissed that this Sableye is busting through all of my shit. Where, wait, where do I have this tab? Okay. What did he say? People wouldn't get a great replacement blue due to immigration in a decade, and Republicans will never win another election. Ah ha 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 ha. So he. Uh, blah blah blah. 
Replacement theory is a dangerous conspiracy theory, but also Texas is going to be blue due to immigration in a decade and Republicans will never win another election. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The, there's like different levels to the. Um, oh, man, I might not catch Sableye here. Nope, no, nope, never mind. Don't spam. Come back in 10 minutes. Does a Nuzlocke mean you can't run? It means that if one of my Pokemon faints, it's dead forever. Wearing a swastika, I believe, is what. But there's there's different levels to the great replacement theory. Like there's some that it's like you know if you um uh they're trying to breed out the white race and it's the Jews that are doing it. And there's the like oh well they're moving they're allowing more immigration because immigrants uh, vote for Democrats more, right? The first one's the Nazi one. The second one is like a soft version of the great replacement theory, which I don't think is necessarily Nazi esque. But all right, guys, name the ghost that I don't want to use. Hey, this ended up saying, and then Eudaimonia, who is Shu's husband, quote, I'm not say, wasting yeah, J-Dam on were this guy. Happening. They were dating at the time, by the way. This is a like by Eudaimonia. Quote, replacement theory is a dangerous conspiracy theory, but also Texas is going to be blue due to immigration in a decade and Republicans will never win another election. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So he believes in the great replacement and he doesn't believe that white nationalism is spreading insidiously and causing violence to occur. That... These are some takes that I feel like most people wouldn't get away with unless maybe being friendly with this guy meant you got to be friendly with a massive YouTuber who has a ton of clout. The fact is, maybe Casper and Slime are mixed together. That I literally I'm nothing not naming but gained a black from, from uh, like publicly speaking at least. Like there can I, I'm a, I, there was literally nothing I lost Mom's realistically jewelry? from being friends with Shuan Head except for like getting a bit of shit for having to defend some of the shit she did. Her, I, I just could not principally stand by what she was doing anymore, and I nuked that bridge, despite the fact that I was a friendship with a YouTuber with like millions Casper. more subs than me. I turned her from a friend that I could gain from to an enemy in a day, consciously and purposefully, because I did not want to stand by and just act as a as a, a enabler of the shit she was doing after she'd numerous times apologized, walked back, said apologies, and repeated the behavior. Um, and I, I, I know it's definitely detrimental to my content, don't get me wrong, and my like ability to blow up as a creator, but... I literally can't get rid of the guilt feeling I have, or I guess the the ick feeling I get, if, if for lack of a better term, when I have to like think, even think about like going against my principles. Like, I'm willing to work what with people principles? That I don't agree with in areas where it contains. If you had principles, you wouldn't be friends with Vosh either. This has nothing to do with principles. We're not fixing Xander Hall. There's, he's too far gone. Tangibly result in good political change, but that's not what just being friends with someone in the internet YouTube space is and making content together. Like, if we're part of an organization together, that would be fine. Um, if we're part of like, uh, you know, a political action committee, a a canvassing group, a um, like I don't know, the Communist Party of of America, whatever it's called. Like, if we're part of some like direct action group or like a volunteering group or something, I wouldn't have an issue with that. The I'm sorry, is, I'm I cringe every time I hear, level. I cringe every time I hear, like, collective action or mutual aid or any of those buzzwords. Like, can someone, can someone, like, uh, post a, a picture or a tweet or something of Xander Hall engaging in, uh, you know, mutual aid or collective action, being part of a collective collective action group? or being involved in the Socialist Party of the United States, or uh, the, the, the DSA? Uh, is, there, is, there a single, is there a single example of him publicly associating with any group to further his principles? No, because you don't have principles. You have feelings about how everyone should act towards you, but not how you should act towards anybody else. A long time ago, but he got worse some over time. I think Lonnie's situation broke this kid. I I don't know. There was there is, I don't think, maybe I'm wrong because I never watched his uh, content. I don't think I've ever seen this guy take a W on anything. Mutual aid with a meth addict for a while. That's true. Um, like, does anybody know a single, a single W Zan has ever gotten? In 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 a drama, in in uh, a debate, because it feels like all the debates that I've ever like seen of him, he's either gotten blown the f out in a highly embarrassing way, or it was literally him just like rehashing a debate that he saw with uh, that someone else had with Destiny, and then he just like copy pasted. Uh, that argument or his arguments or like a uh, copy pasted an argument from Biden. okay that's that's where the issue is all right why are you voting for biden five head why did she ask that what guys 
guys, do you really? Oh, so <laughs> woke scolding for me, but not for thee. Is that what it is, degraded bagel? I think she wasn't trying to go for gotchas when she There's the me, principle. Okay, we found it. We found his principles, Biden guys. doing genocide by funding Israel. At that point, I was just like, okay, so this conversation's pretty much done. All right. Okay. And I, I doubly thought that when she said, Zan, I don't think you have any friends. <laughs> well. Yeah, that was fucked. Her stream names about you have been so loaded, too. Yeah, she's hardcore drama farming it. Notice, by the way, I haven't even uploaded my stream response to all this. I literally just wanted to explain my side of things without having Keppels completely tr control the narrative. But honestly, she, like, she did say to her audience not to raid my community and not to send hate my way. They've done it anyway, but that's not really in her control. I think she's realistically done everything she can to prevent... Oh, so... They raid you, not that big a deal. Shoes fans... Every once in a while, comment on one of your YouTube videos. Probably gets caught by the, like, YouTube auto mod saying, you defended Balenciaga. And suddenly you have to burn every bridge with the, uh, with the creator whose community that's a part of? Harassment and, like, name-calling me. Or name-calling going my way. But she is hardcore drama farming it. And on top of that, throughout this entire drama, numerous times I've said this is not something that, like... It's not like an internet feud, right? Like, I don't hate Keffles as an internet figure now and, like, expect you guys to hate her, too. Like, I don't expect her... I don't expect you guys to unsub from her or to dislike her videos or to stop watching her. I don't, I don't expect you to see her as a bad person for this. Just that you understand how her standard of friendship and my standard of friendship are incompatible and to at least see some reason and my cutting her off. We have been banning people in our community being cruel towards her, Xander Hall? Yes, we have. Yeah, we're not tolerating any of that. But the thing I've noticed in um, Keffel's chat is that she is allowing her chat to run rampant with accusations towards me of being an abuser, like insidious insults and just the meanest shit I've heard about me since Kiwi Farms. Um, it, it really is insane to see how much she is basically riling them up to hate me. Like to think of, to see this as instead of being like an interpersonal spat as like some sort of moral failing on my part, because she's got, like I've lost a few hundred subs from this already, um, for sure. And I'm pretty glad to see those people go because if they're that, like if that's what makes them leave, then good, I don't want them here. But at the same time, it's like, damn, it's sad to see how much her chat is just eating it up. She was literally gaslighting and lying to you while calling you an abuser. Yeah. Listen, I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave. I'm not going to say too much because I've been asked not to. All I'm going to say is, Keffels to get at me and to hurt me because of this has hurt some people behind the scenes that are that are mutuals of ours. Who? Like literally who? Demon Mama? I think I started watching uh following Zan after one of the hippy dippies, but I was always following everyone from there uh because I just started watching all this stuff since 2021. Uh and they're really not happy and they're going to be speaking up with their side of things and it's probably going to change a lot of people's perspective. Mm. They're finally gonna take down Keffels. From the left! She's really not. I was- I saw calling out and banning chatters calling you a drug addict and shit. No, no, I don't think she was doing that to a very significant degree. Literally, one of her replies on her post is somebody who posted an image that's like an edit of me when I made chicken and steak fajitas, but then someone like edited it to be like super zoomed in and blown up spaghetti. So it looks like there's like some kind of giant worm or something in there, but then they also edited a crack pipe on there, or like a meth pipe on there, and they commented that in reference to the Lonnie thing, one of Keffels' fans, and someone replied, are you making fun of Keffels for her drug addiction? And they're like, no, 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 I was making fun of Zan because his ex was addicted to drugs. And then the, Ke then the other Keffels fan replied, oh, okay, that's okay then. All right, that's fine. Yeah, because yeah, fuck you. You don't have any also, not like, say real standards private, for anyone but, um... else, so why should they have standards for you? Matching the energy. One of the people who Illuminati f***ed over and, uh, you know, with the sad milk thing, thanked me for the, my, my, go, my, my holding Lance to account for defending Illuminati. Because that 100 billion percent has not apologized and is desperately trying to weasel out of it. And the people who Illuminati f***ed over know that Lance did not apologize. They know he didn't. Yes, in respect anonymity chat, Blair has ruined many lives and none of you can guess who exactly. Okay, um, I don't think we're going to get anything interesting out of his. I want to just skip past, I want to see what Lonerbox said about the whole thing. We'll skip to that. Take it easy, homie. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Love you, tipster. Yo, what's up? I thought it would bring me to the Discord, not to the VC. Oh god, that was quick. What was that? I thought it would bring me to the Discord, not to the VC. That, that was quick.
Oh yeah, no, I I have it as like a guest invite. So as soon as the you get out of the call, it kicks you. Post proof that you learned how to play it, and then I'll post proof that I did. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't saying any slurs. <laughs> okay. Um, it might have been better for me if I jumped in when you, when you guys were fighting, but I just wanted to know. Like, I was asking around in my chat, and I got sent some stuff that I was showing to you. Uh, was there? Was there any? What was the evidence that uh, Shu was pedo jacketing Xander Hall or Demon Mama? I don't know. So I think is that just it like was... a truism that kept being said because I I can't find anything anywhere in the Balenciaga. Oh, yeah. So with Demon Mama, I can see what the argument is in the Balenciaga response video. Um, Demon Mama got put into the useful idiot section for people who enable pedophiles, which I I could agree. You know, you can absolutely make the argument that that was pedo jacketing, but that also has nothing to do with Xander Hall. And at worst, Xander Hall got mentioned not even by name. Okay. Um, so there's nothing. I, I, I maybe, okay, could, did you see the, the clip that I sent you? Um, um, I maybe don't want to watch it. Like, I might not want to watch it on stream just because it's, it's like it might be shitting on someone who maybe doesn't want to be involved right now but yeah um... i know i don't think i do not think dm wants to be involved and i would not blame okay. her i think reinstigating this kind of stuff is just not helpful i'm just i'm sad this situation even happened in the first place yeah i started yes. watching maybe also, like right at the... it was demon mama that was explicitly saying that shu was engaging in uh in projection that was Demon Mama that did that. It, it, it's it's so f aggravating. They can literally do all of the things that they cry about other people doing. Except when other people do it, there's no proof of it. And when they do it, it's fine. Or it's a joke. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. It matters who you do it to. It's all no holds barred. It's f crazy. The beginning or just just a little bit after the beginning but yeah i i felt like that was just very um that thing kept on getting repeated but the only time i ever see the the take that um like xandall was getting pedo jacketed is like some tweets that don't really show it happening so yeah i just got really confused by that um and i maybe did see some pedo jacket pedo accusations or like just like shit posty pedo accusations going through in the other way so yeah yeah, I don't know. Um, by the way, th uh, what happened with H bomb and Internet Historian? When I saw your stream title today, I totally stole it for clicks, and I have no idea what's going on with that stuff. I'm just watching the video. <laughs> yeah, I'm just watching the video. That's it. Oh, I'm just shit. watching his uh his takedown. So hey, apparently, hey. Internet Historian stole a video about Cave. Do you want to react to Michael Knowles reacting to me? I think I think uh. Wait, wait, was Destiny in that react? Do I have to turn Twitch off? He just put out oh, a video no. today. I think uh, passing clips are fine, if they're, especially if they're in another person's video. Destiny's in the react. Oh, but let's go. Do you want to? Yeah, sure. Hell yeah. How do we do that? Do you have to oh, share uh, this? What this yeah, is I can now? share it on, in the Discord. Jesus. I, I have I, like. I don't months. care. Okay, cool. All right, that's over. What else are we doing today? Uh, Xander Hall is soy. He is totally fine with accusing other people of things. But if someone, you know, even says that, I can't believe that you would defend pedophilia, uh, that's automatically pedo jacketing him. A Zan W at 33, 33, 33. Or three hours, 33 minutes, 33 seconds. Basic ideas that she's referencing in this book when she brings oh. up a specific topic, right? Like, I know what she means when she says censorship, right? I know what she's referencing. Obviously, we had a big argument about it, like Twitter and shit like that. And we could have gone way into the censorship thing if we wanted to. I could have brought up, like, wait, censorship is never okay, and then I'd bring up, like, a bunch of examples where it is okay, and she's like, well, okay, maybe sometimes it's okay, but, you know, like, yeah, and it would just be, like, really back and forth in circles. I actually think where that ended up going with her trying to downplay the insurrection as being compared and what Trump did being comparable. Okay, where's the part where- And you're just arguing with morality. It's got a positive review from Xanderall. I think I'm gonna add a review on the back that says drops mad bars. 
Uh, and we might just change X's for Xander Hall in a uh, lefty edition we release. If, if that actually happens, I'm going to buy it. I, I will buy a lefty edition. Or just in a, one single copy where X is for Xander Hall, I will buy it, okay? All right. I'll, I'll buy a second copy. I could actually make that happen. But uh, I'll send you a copy as a thank you for having a fun little debate with me. Are there any, uh, how long has it been? I think it's been, it's been two hours, it's been a I think. a couple hours, eh? Yeah. Are there any other last little notes you want to bring up? Because I did have a few uh, little things I wanted to work on after this, but um, I can stay to... I guess the final meme would be, uh, do you vape? I did, but uh, yeah, I started vaping this that you wanted me to point out for me. My chat wants you to say, all right, that's, no, that's, this is what equal opportunity, but can, but can you say trans rights? What else than trans rights, my dudes? All right. Can you say white rights, Xander Hall? Do white people have rights? I love white people. Okay. I love white people. Uh, white rights, of course. I think everybody deserves rights. <laughs> all right. There you go. That's good. I'm glad we agree. Look at this. This ended up being a really lovely agreement with just some some friendly spats here and there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no Discord to debate today? You know what? It. Message me on Discord. Message me on Discord. I'm going to run.